Hello everyone, welcome back to another how-to tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to show desktop icons on Windows 11. There's two ways to go about this. You can either do the standard way of scrolling down to the start menu and clicking it, going up to settings and clicking that, wait till it loads, look for personalizations, personalization, <laughs> click that, Scroll down and look for themes and click that. Now scroll down and look for desktop icon settings and click that. And that's where we've got to the menu system. But if you want to do it the other way, you can right click on your mouse. It's a bit of a shortcut. Scroll down to personalize, click that. Wait till it loads. Yeah, again, scroll down to themes, click that, and scroll down to desktop icon settings. So that's the two options. That's the two ways you can go about this. Now, here we're at the desktop icon settings. This is the icons that are visible on your desktop. It's on a recycle bin. So if, like me, you're old school and you quite like having the computer icon, it's called this PC here. It's, called, it's been called many names in this past. Let's just for for example this tutorial also click network. Both buttons have been clicked, radio buttons have been clicked, checks are there, go down to apply, click it, and finally click OK. Now close this window, and if it's not there, right click and refresh. Should be there, but if it's not, do that. And that's it now on the desktop. Let's just say you decide you don't want the network icon to be on your screen, right click or use the other method, scroll down to personalize, click it, scroll down to themes, click that, scroll down to desktop icon settings and click that again, and look for network, uncheck that, click apply, click ok, and close the way, and if the network icon is still there, right click and refresh. And there you go. You can also press sort by to by name or whatever order you want them in. And that's it. That's the video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, could you please leave a like? That would be great. And if you subscribe to the channel, that would also be great. And finally, if you want to be kept up to date with the latest, well, when the latest video becomes live and goes, goes live on YouTube, you can click or tap whatever device you've got that notification bell. That means you get almost instant notifications when a video comes out and it's live on YouTube. That's it. I'm not going to bug you anymore. Thank you again for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourself. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.